Okay, so Niall, thanks for joining us uh, out here on the golf course. Firstly, how's the game going? Game's going all right, yeah. It's yeah. very windy out here today. Yeah, a bit tricky. It's, uh, yeah. it's a different course in this wind. Yeah, um, see whether the players get it for sure. Oh, yeah. wow, yeah, but it's uh, the rough is the highest I've ever, and the thickest I've ever seen it around yeah. here. But uh, great day all in all. I mean, look at this. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Backdrop as well, just incredible. It's insane. Postcard stuff around yeah. here. Um, so I just want to talk about golf initially. Like, how did you get into the game? I mean, I mean, it was for some of my age to get into the golf was pretty easy you know I was watching I was watching Tiger on a Sunday night yeah. you know um, and you know being a young kid and impressionable and I also having lots of great Irish golfers at the time as well but yeah Harrington and Clark and McGinley and all the guys it was um, very easy for me to get into the game and yeah. um, then I joined my local golf club when I was 12 maybe right okay uh, with two of my mates when we left primary school and then just would spend the summers just 36 a day out yeah. with the golf club, competitions on a Tuesday and a Thursday, and then that was it. I was in. Completely got the golf bug. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> nice, nice. And um, you've obviously got a massively busy schedule these days. Mm. Um, how much golf do you get to play? I mean, is it uh, tough or do you, do you fit it in? It's year dependent. If I'm making an album, I've got maybe a little bit more time to do so. If I'm on tour, I've got, I try and play as much as I can on tour. Yeah. Uh, different countries, different cities on a daily basis so I can I try I probably play my most golf when I'm on tour yeah um, but when I'm doing other types of stuff promotional stuff I don't really find the time to do it so no. sometimes I could play once a month sometimes I could play once every six weeks or I could be playing three times a week it's yeah. kind of up yeah. in the air brilliant well you've absolutely smoked excuse the pun but smoke that drive down there is awesome this um, uh, this driver is um, insane yeah. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it So, no, I mean, clearly you're really passionate about the game and yeah. that led you to start Modest. Can you talk a little bit about that and, you know, and why you did it? Yeah, yeah. I guess um, coming, like, being around golf a lot, having friends who played the game professionally, yeah. um, spent a bit of time around the tour and just seeing a lot of really, really young guys, yeah. you know, and I just thought to myself, well, I'm a young guy who has great management and... You know, I feel like you could easily transfer a music management company yeah, yeah, over yeah. to a, a sports company. So, because we have everything in in house, um, yeah. you know, when it comes to travel and commercial and yeah. all that kind of stuff outside of the game. Yeah. And just my passion for the game, I always felt like wouldn't it be great to, you know, if we were to have a, a win or two, you know, to say that you were a small part of, you know, yeah. small cog in the in the thing. So it's been uh, it's been great, you know, to watch it grow over the last six or seven years. Um, and have all these wins that we've had and, and yeah. watch our players do great stuff. Fantastic. And you've been part of Team Callaway for a little yes. while now. Um, but one thing I would say, you know, you talk about your management company and, and the tournament you have and, mm. and growing the game mm. uh, with the ISPS Handa uh, World Invitational. You know, we believe that in that as well in Callaway. Mm. We've invested in Top Golf and Top Trace. Yeah. Uh, you know, how important, how passionate are you about um, growing the game, making it as in inclusive as possible? Yeah, I mean, I feel, I feel like Callaway are, uh, you know, streets ahead when it comes to initiative and, and stuff like that. It, like things like Top Golf, like anywhere I go when I'm on the road, I'm always at some sort of a, you know, I'm always at Top Golf or something like that. It's such a great way for people to get into the game, you know, before they come out and try a course. Um, and it's good fun. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but yeah, we've been really passionate with, with the ISPS, Handa, World Invitational, having men and women play for the same amount of money and we were the first yeah. to do it in, in, your, in the Northern Hemisphere, I think. Yeah. Um, so it's been, that's watching that grow year and year and, and the prize fund get bigger is, yeah. has been a really cool feeling. Again, knowing that you've been a part of that and, yeah. and seeing happy faces around yeah, the place. I mean, it's an incredible initiative and, and great to get it, get it over the line and get it done. Um, you've hit a nice shot in there. Time to, time to go and hold the putt, I think. Uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> this, is, this is where it gets a bit no, risky. You can do it. <laughs> So, yesterday was a pretty cool day. I yeah. mean, it was cool for me standing behind the scenes, but it must have been really cool for you. You got fitted for the brand new AI smoke driver. What was it like? I mean, it was amazing, you know, to, to, to be there with Scott, getting the, the fitting from a man that works with the best players in the world yeah. every week is pretty sweet. Um, but getting the new, getting the new AI smoke is, was pretty cool. Like, I love the paradigm. Yeah. And it was, it was going to be a, 
I was scared when I heard I was going to have to, you know, maybe <laughs> potentially give it up. First thing um, you said was like, uh, guys, this is going to be a tough fitting. I absolutely love the paradigm. Um, and then, yeah, I just started working on the, the different types of heads. The, I went with the Max D in the yeah. end. We just uh, opened out my face a little bit and uh, turned down the loft a, a smidge and I'm using it today straight yeah. in the bag and uh, I've really enjoyed it. It's just, it comes yeah. off the club so lovely and a lovely flight and it's, yeah. uh, it's different to the paradigm, but I'm seeing a lot more length and this, you know, it's not as sporadic. Yeah, the dispersion is coming in. I think you said like pretty quickly you're going 14 yards and you yeah. were like, wow, okay, that's going to work. I got, I got 14 <laughs> yards and I kept it in more fairways. Yeah. Yeah, Plus. hands up here, have the paradigm back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take the smoke and yeah. uh, let's go play. Yeah, yeah. No, so yeah, so um, normal consumers, I mean, you've just gone through a fitting just like any mm. other golfer would. How mm -hmm. important is it, do you think? Oh, it's vital. I mean, I am five foot nine, 71 kg. Yeah. I shouldn't be hitting a 300 yards, but the technology these days and having the, the fitting that we, you know, haven't been able to being able to get a fitting is is vital. Yeah, it's yeah. just it's it's huge. And if you're going to invest yeah. in a, in a good set of golf clubs, make sure it comes with a fitting. It's it's Pretty a game changer. So another good drive there, which was good to see. Yes. Yeah. Still working. Still works. Um, wanted to talk to you about your tour. You've got a world tour coming up. I mean, yeah. Seven six dates, I believe. Yeah, I think it's 76 and I think it's going up, yes, but uh, oh, yeah, yeah. it's going to be uh, a crazy, amazing year. I haven't toured, I was meant to tour in 2020, Yeah. obviously we had the pandemic, so mm -hmm. I haven't toured really in five years, yeah. minus uh, a few festivals that I did this year, but yeah. I'm very excited to like get into the arenas, yeah. put on the show that I've always wanted to put on, yeah. just exciting times. Yeah, something you live for, touring mm -hmm. rights, you know, yeah. singing live. I love it, you know, it's, it's, it's the one part of you know, the music industry that is exactly like I thought it would be when yeah, I was yeah. a kid, you know? And yeah. Uh, yeah, I just love getting up there every night. Yeah. Different different places all over the world. Yeah. Different cultures, different types of people. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And you get back home for a little bit as well, do you? So you've got a few dates. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I'm playing uh, two days in Belfast and three nights in Dublin. Yeah. Um, so that's a great way to kickstart the tour. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, very much looking forward to it. It's, uh, yeah. I always get a great reception when I go home and it's it's a nice feeling. Yeah. And um, you know, in terms of we talked about the golf and you get to play a bit when you're touring. Mm. Have you got anywhere marked out? Like you're going all over the world. Have you got a <laughs> course you got a course ready, you're like, I'm looking forward to that one. Do you know what? Um I'm very lucky when I'm on the road and, and lucky enough that I know a few of the lads on tour and I get to play some really cool courses and yeah. the one I've really want to play is Royal Melbourne so yeah. if, I, when I, if I make it down there yeah uh, I'd love to I'm spending a few days playing the Rod Lever Arena down there so I'd love to play Royal Melbourne at wow, some point yeah. That'd be I think that good. sounds uh, yeah. that sounds like it should be right at the top of the bucket yeah, yeah so. correct <laughs> so Niall just thought we'd finish off with a, a real quick fire uh, question round all right hit um, me hit me so we'll start off golf and then we'll get a bit more difficult right. but, uh, so this is one thing for the rest of your life so one golf course for the rest of your life, what would it be? Augusta National. If you're lucky enough to get to play there, why not, eh? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, one golf hole for the rest of your life. Wow. That is a question and a half. Um, 13 at Augusta. Yeah, there you go. Great choice. Uh, one golf club for the rest of your life. One product. The new smoke, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> Driver has always been my favourite club in the bag, and this thing is a beast. Brilliant. Um, one playing partner. That's tough. You might you might get yourself in trouble. <laughs> Tiger Woods. There we go. Uh, one city for the rest of your life. Melbourne. One home cooked meal. My granny's stew. One drink. Guinness. Uh, one movie. Wow. Step Brothers. <laughs> nice. Uh, one album. Rumours, Fleetwood Mac. And one song. The Chain. Top man. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate Top it. Top man, thanks very Have much. Have a last couple of holes, great couple of holes. Enjoy it. I will do. Thanks Cheers. very much. I'll see you later.